Hi everyone, thanks for coming shopping with me. First of all, we're going to start at Target where I am picking up a couple things from the Target dollar spot like these little Easter clings and then the ceramic uh, cheese board. So lately I've had this little obsession with cutting boards and there were some at the Target dollar spot but I opted to get this ceramic one just to be different. Next I'm looking at some cleaning products. I'm in the market for a new Swiffer but I wasn't really sure if I was ready to purchase yet so I'm just looking. There are so many types of mops out there. I just wasn't sure what to get, but I knew that I needed some all-purpose cleaner. And so basically that's what I do is buy an all-purpose cleaner and use it on everything. That way I know I'm going to use up what I buy and not be tempted to buy something else before I use it all. And then I can use it on everything and just make sure that I'm getting my money's worth out of it. So I was just looking at different brands and um, the Method Grapefruit Scented is what I went with just because it was the one I could get the lid off and put my nose down and smell it. So that's how I figured that out. I needed a couple paper towels. So I'm a cheapo and I went with the cheapest that they have. I just don't really feel like I need an expensive heavy duty paper towel. I don't use them to clean my house or anything. It's just for little spills or, you know, when you spill a little something on your counter and you need to wipe it up. We needed um, some washcloths. So I just picked up these white washcloths and then I was checking out the Easter stuff at Target and very, very tempted to just buy, buy, buy. I just love it so much. And I thought about getting some sprinkles, but I just grabbed the frosting with the sprinkles on it. And then I picked up some of these plastic tumblers and these little bowls. I just have a little bowl obsession, but I thought those would be good because my family likes to take them around the house, put their condiments in them and whatnot. In this way, the little cheap plastic ones, I wouldn't really be bothered too much if they carried them off to their room or something with a snack in it. So I was checking out these little soups, um, thinking that these would be good to take to work for lunch and just heat it up in the microwave in the break room or something. But I just wasn't really seeing the flavors that I thought I would like. They had the tomato and sweet basil thought about it but then I wasn't really sure if I liked this kind. I did end up picking up some of these um, the chicken and stars I believe is what I got. So next I'm heading on over to Meyer Grocery. I think I've mentioned this store before. I'm not sure if they're anywhere but Michigan and Indiana but Anyway, this is a store that we have in my area, and so we've been really big on eating more fresh fruit, so I picked up some apples and some bananas. I wasn't really feeling that comfortable filming in the store on this day, so I didn't do much of that. And of course, we needed some lettuce, but look at how bare these shelves are. It's just sad. Anyhow, I needed some mushrooms and all they had were these organic um, sliced white mushrooms. I picked up some avocado. I put them back because they were really hard and I picked up a couple that were more ripe. That one had a little tear in it so he went back on the shelf and I picked up another one. And I had some good luck this time with my avocados. I picked up some sliced bread. Um, these little small slices were all they had in the dollar price range and so I got one of those I like to make uh, little sandwiches to take to work with me for lunch and uh, or mid-morning snack and then I was just feeling like I wanted some of these raisin English muffins so I grabbed a pack of those too and then just a regular old uh, loaf of white bread and so next was time to buy the ground beef, which was really sad. Look at that. That actually says $21.42 on there for a two pound pack of ground beef. Oh my goodness. So that was very frustrating. And so, yeah, here, just let's talk about that. <laughs> anyway, it was buy one, get one 50% off. But did it make me feel better? No. Now we're going to move on to the actual grocery haul. And I picked up a bag of perch fillets. Not sure if we like perch, but 
The prices on the fish is just crazy here. We got some four cheese tortellini, some of these frozen burritos for Bill because he likes to have those for his lunches. Sugar-free Cool Whip because sometimes I just eat it frozen. But I also got a Dutch apple pie. So the Cool Whip is for that pie. Some hash browns with the peppers in them. I like those. So we were going to do breakfast for dinner one day. Italian meatballs just because I'm looking for other options for meats because the meat is either gone or it's expensive. And then I picked up some of the Swaggerty sausage because it was on sale for $2.99 a roll. So I bought four of them, which may have been all they had on the shelf. So I made sure I got the mild. Um, three blocks of cheese so that we can shred those up for whatever we need. A pack of pepperoni because you never know when you're going to need pepperoni. And then again, just some stuff like these banquet pot pies just to have something ready in the freezer. And then because the kids need to have snacks too. And I don't really spend that kind of money on the frozen food aisle these days but I decided to get them they were basically like buy one get one 50% off or something like that coffee creamer some of these large um, shrimp that I thought Bill would like because he likes his shrimp and sometimes it's just another meat option as well some canned tuna and some canned salmon like I said I'm trying to pick up other forms of meat just to kind of stay away from that ground beef, you know, and some eggs and then some Greek yogurts. And a gallon of milk was there in the back. And this grocery haul is kind of out of order. I was having issues just getting everything in the house and getting it set up. So I have two boxes of saltine crackers, some Dunkin' Donuts, coffee, four packs of this ground beef they were buy one get one half off so I ended up getting the um, 75 25 ratio and spent seven dollars and 13 cents a pound anyhow I just am ready to move on from that I don't want to talk about it because ouch you know Oh, okay, and so then I want to stress 75 25. It's not even 80 20. But anyway, it is what it is, I suppose. And like I said, I'm just going to make um, my meal plans work in other ways and kind of wait it out. These prices have got to make a change at some point, right? Let me know what you're doing to. Uh, supplement your meat use if you're doing anything at all so the chicken was kind of at a reasonable price so I picked up a big pack of chicken breasts and of course we cut those in half so that we get two uses out of each family size pack of chicken I picked up some of the Meyer brand spaghetti sauce I will not spend a lot of money on spaghetti sauce when I know that it is something that I can doctor up and add flavor to so I also picked up some of this onion and mushroom and also the garlic and herb flavored cheese or cheese <laughs> soup mixes and then these um, mashed potatoes were a dollar each, so I got four of them. I know it's cheaper to get real potatoes and make my own, but I was super tired. We had just gotten back from our little trip to Tennessee. I knew this was going to be a struggle week with my energy level being low, so I wanted to have some easy, convenient food on hand. I picked up this little Lunchable to see if I liked it, something to throw in my lunchbox. I also got a couple packs of ramen and a couple packs of egg noodles. I knew we would need egg noodles for one of our dinners, so I picked up an extra just to have in the pantry. I found this bag of rice at a reasonable price and some lentils because there we go again with another option in place of meat and a soup option. So I got a pack of those mushrooms. And then some other um, packs of crackers just to throw into my tote bag and have on hand for when I feel like I need a little something during the work day every now and then because of my health issues I will find that I need a something to eat mid-morning and then some slap your mama fish fry 
And that is, oh, I guess I missed the Raisin Bran. I got one box of cereal and I decided to make it Raisin Bran this time. And then at Target, this is what I picked up. I got the grapefruit um, scented method cleaner that's all purpose so I can use it everywhere in the house. These little bowls, a four pack for just a couple of dollars, I believe. And then these tumblers were something like 75 cents, I believe. I think the oranges came from Meyer. I just forgot to bring them in, or the boys did. They actually carried my groceries in, so there were a few things that were MIA. And here is that cheese board from the Target Dollar Spot. It's five bucks. It was just one of those little I want items. And so the washcloths were around $3. I like to get just white so that I can bleach them out. And then again, like I said, the boys didn't carry in all the groceries at the same time. So the avocado, the bananas, and the bread are still kind of in a different haul here. And then I just thought these would be fun for Easter. I believe they were about a dollar. So here's my breads that I picked up as well. And um, I did pick up a pack of onion buns. These raisin... Um, English muffins are just for a snack item when I'm feeling like I want something sweet. And then of course I pick this up for Easter dinner. I'm going to make a fun dessert for the family. And that frosting was at Target in their Easter aisle. And then I just got a couple packs or a couple rolls of paper towel just to have on hand. We normally just use a dish towel or a hand towel just to, for our hands and whatnot. So I just wanted paper towels on hand for little tiny spills that needed to be wiped up real quick. And here's a look at the spread. The very next day, Bill and I went to save a lot because there were a few odds and ends that we wanted to pick up. We got corned beef hash, the Chef Boy RD, some turnip greens, and some canned vegetables like green peas, corn, and green beans. We didn't need very much, so we were just kind of stocking that up. And then a can of coffee. This was on sale, I believe. We ended up getting it for under $5 with the coupon and the, the store sale. Bill picked up a couple of pears, one already got eaten, and then we were discussing making some pinto beans and cornbread to go with those greens, just like Grandma used to make. <laughs> and so that is the end of the grocery shopping for this week. Next, I will share with you what our meal plan is, and if I have pictures already by the time I post this, I will share how they turned out. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy videos like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button so that you can see more of my uploads in the future. Bye for now.